I'm going to guess Jeff Daniel. No, oh, see? Burr, 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 burr. No. Hi, I'm Anna Kendrick. And I'm Daniel Day Kim. And today, and today we're, we're playing, playing <laughs> Who Said That? With <laughs> Al. With Al. So we'll be given a line from a movie or a TV show, and we have to decide which co-star of ours, past or present, said it. I'm nervous. <laughs> Yeah. Because sometimes I feel like I have a good memory and then it's kind of extraordinary the things I'll forget. So I'm nervous. Ooh. Yeah. And it's not even about not knowing Anna's work. I don't even know my own work. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, we'll see how this goes. But before we get into the game, please be sure to check out Stowaway, the movie that Anna and I are doing uh, on Netflix uh, on April 22nd. <laughs> goodness i'm up all night feel free to call me we cannot sleep together <laughs> and my options are a danielle brooks b linda cardellini or c sam rockwell i don't know oh my god i feel so bad i don't know uh uh, uh danielle brooks uh... No! <laughs> Hey, I'm up all night. Feel free to call me and we can not sleep together. Oh, that's right. She's great in that. So I did a scene with Linda in A Simple Favor where she is like this really threatening kind of unhinged artist and she's sort of like brandishing a knife and she has it at my throat and this kind of, you know, like she's not really gonna do anything but she's crazy enough that she might. And she was so fun to work with and so beautiful in person too, oh my God. Uh, I got to work with so many great people on A Simple Favor because they would just come in and do like one day and be this like insane character. She was a standout for sure. Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? A, Don Cheadle, B, Jeff Daniels, or C, Bill Skarsgård? First of all, I didn't realize I was even in projects with all of these people um, <laughs> and how lucky I am to, <laughs> to be able to say that. Um, uh, and I have no idea. Anna knows the answer to this. I do. And that's crazy. But I'm going to guess Jeff Daniels. Me. Uh, oh, see? Burr, 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 burr. No. It's Bill Skarsgård. It's from It. Do you want a balloon to a Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Ah. A balloon. Creepy balloon. That, I know. You're thinking gotcha. of like a nice balloon. You had to be thinking of a creepy balloon. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Dumb and Dumber or something like that, you know? Um, um, that was where I was going. I like suspenseful movies, but, you know, when it gets to like gore and, and creature features, that's not so much my thing. Like my favorite scary movies are films like The Sixth Sense and The Others that kind of have a really intriguing twist to them. This is our life now. I can stay here, I can talk about our feelings, or I can go take care of shit and make sure that we don't die, okay? Um, and my options are A, Chris Pine, B, Robert Pattinson, or C, Jason Bateman. I don't know where this is from, so I'm trying to imagine, you know, how this is said, like in whose voice this is said. Um, I want to say, oh, is it uh, is it Bateman from Ozark? Ah! <laughs> I was gonna be so embarrassed if I didn't get at least one right. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's a show I have to be in the right mood to watch because it's really dark. It's visually very dark and also thematically very dark. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Are you sure that wasn't me that said that? Um, the choices are A, Kate Winslet, B, uh, Kirsten Dunst, or C, Shailene Woodley. All fine actors. Uh, I think the clue for me is the first word in that quote, Jack. Uh, so I'm gonna guess that that's Kate Winslet in Titanic. Whew. I feel that same relief that you just felt, Anna, when you got one right. <laughs> Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. All right. You know, I once saw someone on YouTube talk about this scene, and it just cracked me up because she literally said, Girl, I, you ain't think to take turns. <laughs> she let my brother free. And I thought about it, and I guess it would have been solved if there was just one small snippet of a scene where he tried to get on the door and the door flipped over or the door started to sink. 
Uh, that would have solved this whole dilemma. But then, what would we be talking about? I feel like there. He tries to get on for like a second, and it doesn't work. But it. it they don't sell it enough. Like. Somebody said it's not that there wasn't room; it's just that the weight of the both of them would have made it sink. But that that part isn't clear. I agree. But you know, it sure is romantic doing it this way. You know, <laughs> Jack is super gallant, right? He's taking one for the team, so to speak. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. <laughs> I love the options. Craig Robinson. I would love to hear Craig Robinson say this, by the way. B, Meryl Streep, or C, Rebel Wilson. I think all three of these people would sound wonderful delivering this quote, but of course that's Meryl Streep and Devil Wears Prada. An iconic quote. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. The surprising thing about working with Meryl was just sort of how uh, how much fun she had on set. Like uh, when we were doing Into the Woods, she had this transformation into the kind of glamorous witch toward the end of the film, and she had these long press-on blue nails, and they would pop off all the time. It was like a like a little weird Easter egg hunt where she was like, "I'll give you twenty dollars if you can find a blue nail." Of course, you know she never paid up, but. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw her was in Sophie's Choice, and uh, that just blew me away. I just revisited um, Angels in America. Have you seen um, that recently? She just blows it out of the water in everything, obviously, but... Icon. Angels in America, like, you forget, like, uh, how nuanced and powerful uh, the work she does in that is. Oh my, so much pressure. Wait a minute. I read a tweet about a New, or New Yorker article about you, The Last of the Gentleman Sleuths. You solved that case with the tennis champ. You're famous. A, Miles Teller, B, Aquafina, and C, Tony Collette. I believe this is Tony Collette because this sounds super smart and something like Tony would say. Am I right? I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. You're famous. There you go. And I, I, I loved her performance in that. In fact, Tony was talking about Knives Out when we were on the set of uh, Stowaway. That's right. The trailer came out while we were making Stowaway, which was so crazy because, you know, she's playing this incredibly strong woman in Stowaway. And then to see, you know, kind of flighty, hippy, dippy, like, you know, head in the stars character was really funny. She's an extraordinary actor. She can yeah, do so good, many man. things in every oh. genre. And, you know, what a thrill it was for to, to work with her and, and to get to know her as a person too. And, and to know that she's not precious about her process. She does take her work incredibly seriously and she does do lots to prepare. But then like right before they would call action on our film Stowaway, she would just close her eyes and go, I'm in space, I'm in space, I'm in space, I'm in space, I'm in space. <laughs> as though she forgot. Like it was just so like funny and simple. And just this little reminder like, hey kids, we're in space right now. We're not on a sound stage surrounded by people. We are alone out in space. And I actually remember there was a day that Daniel and I, the, they called cut on one take and Daniel and I looked at each other and we were like, were you in the scene or were you just like watching Tony and going like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm watching Tony act in front of me. Cause I barely remembered my lines. I was like, I, I'm sure that my take, that take was terrible. Cause I was just like, oh my God, I'm up close and personal watching Tony Collette act. This quote is, we're sorry that you missed the filet mignon, but this is the next best thing. We think it's spaghetti. And my choices are me, Anna Kendrick, B, uh, Aubrey Plaza, or C, James Corden. The funny thing is, I think if I hadn't seen the trailer recently, I would be like, I don't know what this is from, <laughs> but this is me in uh, the lovely film Stowaway. We're sorry that you missed the filet mignon, but this is the next best thing. We think it's spaghetti. I should warn you now that Zoe thinks she's the in-flight entertainment. <laughs> I'm playing uh, Zoe Levinson. I'm a medical researcher, uh, and we're all on a mission to Mars. And uh, yeah, as that line shows, I do sort of uh, fancy myself uh, the, the kind of fun one of the crew. So uh, I, I loved the scenes that I got to do with Daniel, where our characters sort of uh, lock horns over various uh, uh, silly rivalries and little jokes and stuff. I had a lot of fun uh, sort of like ruffling his feathers uh, as much as I could in that film. My character is named David Kim. He is the ship scientist. Uh, he's a biologist specifically, and his mission 
is to find a way to create an atmosphere that, uh, where people can live uh, when they go to Mars. And he uses microgreens and algae and plants uh, for a gas exchange. What a nerd! Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this one I think I can get. The quote is, this research is years of our lives. Are we sure we want to throw it all away? I don't know if I delivered it as well as the character did, but the choices are LL Cool J, uh, Zoe Kravitz, and Daniel Day Kim. And this one, I can say with some amount of confidence that this is Daniel Day Kim. I just referred to myself in the third person because that's who I am now. <laughs> but would you have remembered this if it wasn't in the trailer, be honest? That's a good question. I don't know, but, but I do remember it from the trailer. So thankfully I don't have to answer it. This research is years of our lives. Are we sure we want to throw it all away? We had a, a you know a consultant on set uh, who helped a lot. Another huge resource for me was our director, Joe Penna, who is, is so knowledgeable about pretty much everything that we would ask him ridiculously hypothetical questions, uh, you know, thinking that there, no one would have an answer or respond, but Joe would respond right away and go, oh yeah, that's uh, that's this. Yeah, like they actually tried that in with the Russian space program and blah, blah, blah. He was like, ah, you just know everything. Yeah, and so that was incredibly reassuring to have a director who, who you knew you couldn't stump and had done the, the work to think through everything that we were doing as actors. Everyone's either gonna wanna kiss you, kill you, or be you. A, Elizabeth Banks, B, Vera Farmiga, or C, George Clooney. I don't know. I'm glad I got one right already because I don't think I know. Uh, uh, is it Clooney? Uh. Oh, what's that from? Everyone's either gonna wanna kiss you, kill you, Oh, be you. Oh, of course, The Hunger Games. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she looks nuts in that movie. Uh, the makeup and stuff, it's so cool to see her doing something like where she just looks so different from how she looks. Because obviously she's got this like California girl look. And yeah, her look in The Hunger Games is just like so insane and iconic. You act right, you are right. That's for certain. Understand? David Harbour, A. Octavia Spencer, B. Jorge Garcia, C. Huh. I'm gonna go with B, Octavia Spencer. You act right, you are right. That's for certain. Understand? Yes, Mom. Oh, of course. I just rewatched that. It's so good. She's so good. And she's another one. Like she 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 can do so many different things. And I have a lot of love for Octavia Spencer because she she really things were not handed to her. She earned everything that she has and her place in this business. And she's she's stayed humble, she's kept it real, and, and she's just super talented. Um, I would work together with uh, with her again in a heartbeat, and uh, I'm lucky to call her friend. Thanks so much for watching us play Who Said That with Elle. Make sure to check out Stowaway on Netflix starting on April 22nd. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Elle. Just like I do. <laughs>